I'm going to delete my new curve, go back to my original. All right, rebuild type, reduce. So the main difference between global and local is the global option uses whatever tolerance value that is Maya's uh, default or pref preferred value for tolerance, uh, which is set in the Maya preferences, which you can go to window, settings, preferences, preferences. And then if we look at, if we look at settings, at the bottom here we have tolerance, positional and tangential, these two values which are the default values and that is the global value so if you ever want to change the global value of the use tolerance you come in here and change it right here but or you can use local which essentially lets you adjust your own tolerance here so global and local for reduce I'm going to create a new curve actually let's create a curve that is not quite so curvy because what this does what reduce is supposed to do is it reduces the number of points or they also call them knots in your curve uh, based on a tolerance local or global so within that tolerance if the curves uh, shape would not change within this tolerance if a, if a point was removed then reduce will remove it so if you have a bunch of unnecessary points for example to keep the same relative shape within a tolerance it will remove those unnecessary points in the curve but because this curve is so curvy it probably needs all the points we have here to keep this shape so I'm going to create a curve that's a little bit straighter just to demonstrate the front view the create CV curve tool and I'm just going to kind of put a bunch of points in a line like this and hit enter so we have this relatively straight curve I right click and display the points is black even better? You guys need to tell me a black background helps at all, or if the original background is better. Let's try this first. So you can see all these points I have here. And we might need to adjust this tolerance to get much of a difference to happen. Um, I'm going to choose the curve, reduce, I'm going to have keep original turned on so we can see a difference if one happens. And I think global, let's choose local and increase this up a bunch just to see if we can get something drastic to happen hit apply okay it moved a little bit so move this down it's very subtle I'm going to select both my curves so the top curve is my original line and the second curve the bottom curve is the rebuilt one I'm going to display the CVs alright so you can definitely see a difference you can see right here this point was removed and this point actually looked like it was shifted over these points were shifted and points are removed so definitely reduces points again based on a tolerance so you can change that tolerance value to get more or less points removed but that's what that does that's reduce let's delete these two so the next option is match knots and what this does actually is it matches another curve the knots of a second curve not your original curve but another curve so I need to re I need to make a second curve real quick CV curve tool in my front view I'm just going to make something really different so what you would first do is select the curve that needs to be rebuilt which is this curve here the original curve and then shift select the curve that you want to match so with match knots selected and you still have parameter range and the keep values here that you can set and hit apply so now this rebuilt curve here is using this curve for the knots the matching the knots so you can see you get a much drastic uh, shape to it hit control A for the attributes if I choose the curve I'm matching you can see the spans are 8 min max value is 0 to 8 if I choose the curve I rebuilt you can see it matches those values 0 or shoot, excuse me spans spans are 8 I was about to say why is it 0 to 1 because in my rebuild options I have it reset 0 to 1 so that's why that's it that's why that is different so to keep in mind it's using all these settings at once when you hit rebuild so <laughs> so if you say 
uh, keep, for example, it would probably keep the original curve's value. Or if we say zero number of spans, it would probably then change to uh, zero to eight to match the one we're matching. Hopefully that makes sense. And that's what match knots does. You need a second curve to match before that will work. So let me delete that curve, which because it has history, deletes the copied curve. No multiple knots. If when you rebuild the curve using this option, it will keep the same number of spans and so on. Um, because this keep uh, option gets grayed out. It's almost like a fix. So you choose your curve, you say no multiple knots and apply. It will rebuild the curve to get rid of any multiple knots you might have. So if I hit apply right now, yeah, my curve doesn't really change because I don't have any multiple knots in this curve. So just keep that in mind. If you ever run into that problem, you can use this to fix it. All right, curvature. Curvature gives us, again, the tolerance and the slider if you choose local tolerance. And still our keep options are removed. It keeps the same number of spans. Um, you can change the parameter if you'd like. Let's just use keep just to keep it easy and hit apply so in my uh, channel box if you choose the rebuild curve option you have all these options available to you to change on the fly so tolerance is the one that really affects um, curvature the rebuild curvature type if I middle click and drag with tolerance selected you can see how the shape changes based on that tolerance value so that's one good way to adjust the shape of the curve with tolerance if you don't know exactly how much tolerance you need but you can see how this changes so next is end conditions so for end conditions we have two settings here multiple knots or no multiple knots so with multiple knots selected for my end condition to hit apply you won't see much of a difference Faye, or any difference at all really it keeps the same number of spans because our keep uh, settings here are grayed out. You can change the perimeter range, of course. Uh, but for in conditions, multiple knots. If I right click on my curve, control vertex, you'll see I have a point at the end of my curve I can use to uh, adjust its uh, shape and have a lot more control over the curve. Same with my original, really. This original curve is the same way with a knot or a point at the end of the curve. Let me delete the rebuilt one and now choose no multiple knots for the end conditions. Hit apply. My curve looks the same, but now with my rebuilt curve, the top one, if I right click on it and choose control vertex, you'll see now I have this point way down here that adjusts the shape of the end of the displayed curve. And the only reason really to do that is it can make other certain actions in Maya a little bit easier to say attach a curve uh, to this curve you see this point up here actually controls the end there so there's just certain actions in Maya that you might find um, with a point right here at the end causes a harsh uh, transition when you attach two curves together or some other uh, option in Maya if you want to experiment with it you feel free um, but yeah that's just the way you can have the end condition of this curve not have a point at the end of the curve here and okay that was a much longer video than I anticipated but hopefully you know a little bit more about rebuilding curves and what all these options are what they do um, keep in mind again if you go to the channel box over here you have all these inputs here rebuild type you can change it right like so but keep in mind that certain rebuild types in the if we look back at the rebuild curve options uh, curvature for example the keep options are grayed out but if you look in the channel box the keep options have no indication that they're not available so if you look over here if I chose the curvature uh, rebuild type, the endpoints and keep tangents and so on, all this stuff is still here to change, but it actually wouldn't do anything. You have to look in the options themselves 
and see that oh the keep options are grayed out for curvature so those options don't have any effect in the channel box so keep 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 that in mind but you can change the spans you can adjust the tolerance for the options that use tolerance so again tolerance is here but if you were using a uniform rebuild type tolerance wouldn't do anything so that can be a little confusing so just keep in mind if you if you ever have an option in the channel box that looks like it should be doing something but it isn't try looking at the actual options from the menu and you can see how the different settings affect each other and how certain settings get removed or are not used for other settings and so on so keep that in mind anyway much longer video than I anticipated but there's a lot of stuff to cover for a rebuild curve and I hope you learned something uh, definitely let me know if you like the video uh, feel free to comment if you subscribe I really appreciate it uh, if you have any suggestions for another video to go over uh, next, let me know. I'm going to try and get to everything eventually. And thanks a lot, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you later.